good you're here today. You know how it is. All this talk on the media, about spying, eavesdropping, pure people's disorders, about terror, the war on terror, about, about spying, eavesdropping. I don't know what people are getting into these, this day and age, but they've gotten themselves into when they elected Bush. I fear also that somebody's tapped my television. All this wiretapping, eavesdropping, and spying. You know what happens in this day and age if you're called a terrorist? You could get a one way ticket to Guantanamo Bay, Florida. To Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Guantanamo Bay? Yeah. Or you could get your head chopped off. Or you could go end up going on a hunting trip with Dick Cheney! <laughs> Ted, where do you get this stuff? Well. Well, with all that aside, why don't we get to today's, to today's show, which has our special guest, John Paul. Hello. Camera. So. Mm -hmm. How for you? How for you? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't speak. Don't speak How are you? Como te le veo? Como, como te le veo? Como te le veo? Baby in, Ibu. Bien, gracias por Because it's Spanish. I have no idea. Ibu, okay. Hello, John Paul Gomez. How are you? Fine, fine, no problem. You know, Lindsay's gonna get married. Yeah. I knew it. You knew it. Who are you gonna get married to, Lindsay? I'm gonna get married to my boyfriend, Vince. Vince, Vince who? Vince Friel. Vince Friel. So you will be Lindsay Friel, right? Actually, I'm gonna be Lindsay Harris Friel. Lindsay Harris for you. Yep. Yeah, for the bow. Oh, yeah. yes. Just like me, right? Mm. Yeah. What's your, what's your Joanne name? McDowell. Gomez. Joanne McDowell. Mm -hmm. McDowd or McDowell? McDowell. McDowell. Not McDowd. I'm McDowell. sorry. I got it wrong. <laughs> I was, my, I had stuff in my ears. I didn't hear it correctly. <laughs> Look at this. Um, it says uh, Jerry Seinfeld Halloween. Seinfeld. By James Bennett. And yeah. he also has an Andy Warhol book there, Ted, that, um, JP. This is, mm -hmm. see this one here too, John Paul? This one. See that? That's an artist book. Artist book. Yeah. Yeah. Artist book. Andy Warhol's an artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Ted, how's it going? Oh, uh, fine. Is James still your uh, job coach? Or did yeah. you just quit? Okay. Yeah, he's still there. He's still company. What James day? He's still hanging in there. Yeah. What days does he come? Um, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Unfortunately, Jerry is no longer with me. Jerry? This is Jerry. Jerry? Jerry used to be Monday and Tuesday. Jerry used to be his Monday and Tuesday girl. Yeah. She was great. She used to do stuff like cut his nose hairs for him, oh, trim his ear hair. Yeah. No, I no. think she felt like she was a little too emotionally attached. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but just. Well. Do you want to show Mrs. G the pictures from when you guys went tubing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can see that. Did you use a waterproof camera? Oh, mm -hmm. yes. That, my friend did that when we went to Bermuda. She oh, went to bell diving. Oh, and wonderful. And she had a, uh, a camera. That had to be fun. So what's up with you these days, JP? Yeah. Beats me. How far do? How far do? Okay. Oh, where's the... Oh, right here. Is this... Well, some of them are in the pool here? downstairs and some of them are in Dorney Park. JP, is it okay if Ted videotapes you? Mm -hmm. Where's the pool? Yeah. Here. There's a pool. Uh, it's on the other side of the building. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Sometimes there. I park down there. Yeah, it's like, Yeah. I think it's like diagonally that way. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Maybe it's creaming and shivering time for, for the chat blood. Did these people know you were taking their pictures? Yeah, Ted, did you have permission? Did they sign a waiver? <laughs> yeah, they signed a waiver. No, they didn't sign a waiver. <laughs> Was it a waterproof waiver? Cool. Well, wow, this camera, you, you can take pictures underwater. See that? Underwater? Yeah. It's a special camera. So, JP, camera. Some, of these, some of these pictures that Andy Warhol did are really cool because he would silk screen them. I never had a, I never had a camera like that one before. No, well, maybe someday you'll, you'll buy one. You can oh. take that. Jeff both had an encounter with a dolphin. Did you really? Remember, you mean whenever some of our young cousins invite us to our each swim party? Uh-huh. Or when we go back to um, 
St. Petersburg and you go swimming again, you could take a picture of the dolphin when it comes to swim with you. There's a dolphin that, that swims with John Paul? We went to a place called Captiva Island, mm -hmm. he, he and two of my sisters. And my sisters and I were sitting on the beach and he was in the water. And all of a sudden this big black thing goes like this right behind him. Dolphin? And he wow. was looking at it and he turned around and his eyes just completely covered his face. <laughs> and it came out in the water. I like that. I've never seen him. Was it scary? He thought it was a manatee. Really? Yeah. Okay. But then, I mean, as soon as it went down and then it started swimming, we realized it was a dolphin. <laughs> and it came but, over just to check and see I mean, what was it going must on. Have been, it must have been less than three feet away from uh -huh. it. I mean, that's how close they got. Wow. And oh. that was exciting. That's very exciting. Yeah. You know, people pay thousands of dollars yes, to have that did. experience. And you so got it for sick. free. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Who's this guy? That's James. Oh. James. Okay. James. James. That's James. your roommate, isn't it? He's not a roommate. He's his job coach. He's a support coach. guy. Mm -hmm. Job coach. He helps Ted. He helps Ted with his he stuff by himself. So mom is on her way over, I think. Yeah, she had told me last oh, night okay. that she had to go home and get your dad dressed, and then of course she would come over. Dad has to prevent her from doing it. I think she needs yeah, to do mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I look to get Mary Lindsay here. I know. Yeah, Las Vegas is looking pretty good. <laughs> I love all the pictures that are taken of Ted's feet like that. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, at first it was. Everybody was really excited yeah. for the first few weeks, and then it got to this point that we realized that the amount of stress was increasing so fast over the course of just a few weeks Imagine that I, was, I wasn't sleeping. Oh I was God. sick all the time. I was just, yeah. like, shaky and miserable. And I was also impossible to... I could tell that I was impossible to be around. Yeah. And, uh, but it was because, on the one hand... Vince and I were kind of going, yeah, you know, we've got time, we've got time, we've got tons of time. And then mom and dad are both going, oh. And the problem is, is that dad is going, I will control everything. Mm. And then mom is so excited <laughs> that every idea she comes up with explodes into ten more ideas. Uh -huh. And then each of those, they're like spider eggs. <laughs> and then every one of those ten ideas explodes into another ten, which then explodes into another ten. Oh my God. So... We've got we've got the place and the date, which is good because we did not know that October is the number one month for weddings in Pennsylvania. Is it really? It is, because of the foliage. Wow! It's the number one month for for weddings in Pennsylvania, and also because the humidity is low and the weather is consistent. Yeah, that's true. October is the new June. Yeah, it's one of the nicer months yeah. of the year here. So yeah. we we never even considered that, and we thought we were being all. You know, we thought we were being smart and totally like bucking the system. Wrong, wrong, wrong. We met with the caterer. We like the caterer. What's really good is that Vince really loves food. He's really a food guy. He cooks really, really well. Um, and and he and Ted get along really well, which is great. Good. Okay. Yeah. And uh, then, um, so fortunately, he and the caterer were totally able to just like everything was. You know, so we, we got, so everything's settled with that. We're waiting for the contract to arrive in the mail. Um, and other than that, everything else, I think we can kind of just take our time. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my aunt is going to, my mom's sister-in-law, Connie, is an amazing seamstress. And I've always wanted her to make my dress. Oh, so yeah. she's going to do that. And um, worry. then... Uh, Ted's going to be the videographer, mm. and Ted is also going to be the lieutenant commander usher. Okay. And uh, he's yeah, going to I have to walk my mom down the aisle. You do. Yes, that's, that's your nice. job. Yeah. John yeah. Paul walked uh, me down the aisle. Oh, good. That's mm -hmm. perfect. At David's wedding. Mm -hmm. He was a an usher, a groomsman. Yep. And yeah. We're gonna I'm trying to think what all else. Where are you going to have it? At the old mill in Rose Valley. Do you know that? Maybe it's really, really honored if you would come. It's, Maybe it would honored be, if you and Joppa would come. Well, Ted, we'll, we'll see who we'll who, see who she can invite. Okay? We'll see how many people I can invite. That's right. Okay. That's right. Because we still haven't settled. We it still haven't settled matter. our number yet. 
doesn't matter the, to us. Well, because the other thing is that Betsy's mom wants to invite a lot of people. Yeah, so that's All right. right. So you have to be. Betsy's mother wants to invite half of some, don't we? The old mill is like, if you're in Rose Valley and you sort of go, so, John Paul. Uh, mm -hmm. like down near the Hedgerow mm -hmm. Theater. Yeah. So it's like down deep in the woods kind of thing, and it's but it's very nice. It's it's an old um, furniture. It, it started out as a snuff mill, and then it became a textile mill, and then in the 20s it started making furniture there. It was redesigned by Will Price, and it was an old furniture factory. And now it's you know it's it's sort of a social club for it's basically a place where people who live in the woods like to go out. And drink. Mm -hmm. So, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It'll be beautiful. If it's yeah, be it's going to be terrific. Be yeah. Nice. So anyway, but that's you know like it, it, I've had that. Everything too. got to a point where I started getting so stressed out mm -hmm. that I was just getting to be really be impossible. Up up so or at least I I I, I couldn't live with myself. I was driving myself crazy. Yeah. And I was just like, okay, you know what? This is going to be way too nuts. Mm -hmm. So now we're figuring. Okay, we got a couple locations. You know, now we can just kind of go on everything else we don't have to worry. Like, another thing that's good is, um, uh, he's been in a number of bands for years because he's a musician, and his best friend is currently in a band, but the lead singer of the band is a wedding DJ. So that's easy, yeah. and she'll let him, you know, pretty much decide what kind of music it's playing. Like opposed part. to just going, okay, now we're gonna play uh, an electric yeah. slide. So did I. Now we're gonna do the funky chicken. Um, so anyway, much is there on Sunday? Are you getting married in church, or are you gonna get married at the we're old mill? We're gonna get married at the old mill because we want to have Sunday? one stop shopping. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We don't want to yeah. have people looking around the places. I think it were. Right, that's a good I idea. To. We, it seems like, at least once a month, there's people driving into our driveway. With bad directions for the old mill, looking for the what, looking for a wedding that they're going to. Oh, yeah. And I always thought it would be funny to have have our wedding at our house, but instruct everybody to drive to the old oh, mill, yeah, going, yeah. "Is this not 50 Manchester <laughs> Avenue?" Yeah. And one time we had Ted and I were getting ready to go somewhere, and all of a sudden all these cars start pulling into the driveway. Lots of them. There was a traditional Korean wedding going on at the old mill. So all these people for whom English was not their first language <laughs> were pulling in the driveway going, Oh, me! Oh, no. And so I'm out here trying to give them directions back in sign language. Right. Oh, anyway. My God. Yeah. Oh, we found out, actually that night we were going out to Kendall to visit my grandmother. And my grandmother, we, we sat with my grandmother and a couple of her friends and, or somebody Maybe it was the next day. Somebody said, oh, I just went to the most delightful wedding at the old mill in Rose Valley. It was a traditional Korean wedding, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, they're all at my house. Yeah, yeah. I know about that one. Yeah, so. Anyway. Ted's going to be the videographer. He's going to make the video. Okay. And he's going to be the best brother. So it's all going to be good. But, and in the meantime, Ted has plenty of time to work on his table manners. Table manners. Ted, do you think Vince's dog should be in the wedding? Mm. I don't think they allow dogs at the old mill. No, they don't want No them. dogs allowed. We just went to a wedding on Saturday next door. Uh huh. Oh, really? Next door? Yeah, they got That's married good. under an arbor in nice. the front yard, and then mm -hmm. they had a big tent in the backyard. And mm -hmm. they had the reception. That sounds nice. good. Are those other autistic? I know they got married. Who? Um, things like Bradley or something. How do you know? It was in my special abyss group. He married another autistic girl. That's interesting. Wow. No. When did that happen? Um, 1999. Got it. Wow. We were, there was some consideration very early on about having it at my parents' house. And mom felt like uh, 15 months was not enough time to clean the house. <laughs> So that was dropped. I, I, we were sitting here going, but what about, but why, why can't, why can't this just be, okay, you know what? Fine. Yeah. Fine. Well, yeah, yeah fine. it's better. Yeah, but, well, but if, if dad decides that he's got to be the general 
too much more. I had a last time. Last time. Doc Vegas. It's all over. It's all over. Well, no. the, 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 something. Vince works for the district attorney's office in Philadelphia. He's mm -hmm. paralegal. And he found out that if you get married at City Hall in Philadelphia, they will let you use the observation deck up in the in the tower oh. of City Hall. Okay. And at first, I was like. You know, yeah, or Rick Mariani trying yeah, to jump. Yeah, exactly. I keep thinking to myself, you know, if it's good enough for Rick Mariano. <laughs> but it was funny when they said he was going to jump. That place is it's completely, completely closed. Sealed. It's completely sealed. Like, what was well, he going to do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, the other thing was, at the time, I was living at 12th and Cypress Streets, which is between Spruce and Pine, so I was almost in the, in the same neighborhood. Oh. I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone, and I'm standing out on my balcony, and there was all this noise going on, and she said, what's all that noise? And I said, I don't know, it must be a parade or something. So it turned out there was like some kind of a jazz concert at City Hall that night. Oh, and wow. he just happened to go take a walk up there. I'm all his friend. Wow. Yay, Mom's here. Mm. So, yeah, but there was always, that place was such a carnival. There, there was always crazy stuff going on. Actually, last New Year's, Ted stayed with me for New Year's. When I lived at 12th and Cypress Streets, mm -hmm. and what did we do on New Year's Day, Ted? We saw the Mummers. Yeah. Oh wow! But it was really cool because we walked out of the Mummers parade, and we were like, "Ah, we don't need to, you know, we'll just put on our coats." Oh! And then we got down there, and we <laughs> thought about it for it wasn't that bad, but we thought about it for a few minutes. We looked at so like, "Let's go put on some hats and scarves and gloves and stuff." And then we went back, and eventually we were like, "This is boring. Let's go home." <laughs> yeah. And the night before, we went and saw Lakasha Foe. Lakasha Foe. We saw Lakasha mm -hmm. Foe. Jinx Yomi Sada. Jinx Yomi Sada, you're right. That was the first time Teddy ever saw drag queens, so we got to have a lot of interesting mm -hmm. conversations. And uh, then there was a party. In case you don't know, a drag queen is a man who dresses up like a woman. Ted, let mommy in. She's probably got her hands full. I just got this new job at. Um, Fresh hot pizza. I just hot pizza. Panera? Yeah, Panera. Panera. Wow. Oh, I just got okay. this. No, it's just not for Panera. It's not for a couple of weeks. Nachos. For, um, for once upon a nation. Nachos. Yes. In Philadelphia, and it's a standing up and walking. Well, that's not too bad at all. Okay. So I'm in here, Mom. Here, Lindsay. To here. Yeah. No Panera's You're gonna pizza. make me get up off the couch. You're on the payroll, honey. Get I know. I'm work. on the payroll. All right. I'm moving. I'm moving. <laughs> Sooner, but it suddenly dawned on me that I didn't get anything to drink. Oh, okay. So I thought we were going to the restaurant. We were, but oh, I'm okay. waiting for BJ's okay. to call and say my tires are oh, done. Oh, okay. So okay. I didn't want no to leave. No So, so Tess, loose. you want to move those? Right. I thought that I could get my tires put on the car while I shopped. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I called them last night. I said, do you do that? Oh, yeah, yeah. What didn't occur to me that it's supposed to be a place? And this woman you know, that I, I told eat me, me but you got a was there. Is it because you're a vegetarian? But it occurred yesterday. I had them in a car and was put on as soon as they entered the vegetarian. You are not a vegetarian. You are a vegetarian. And the first one's ahead. You don't know if you're in your office. So we need to watch this. Oh, Jesus. And fortunately, Lindsay and Kevin are in the shop. Has for an she took her car to do a shopping, and then they were going to the word Audi. So that's what I did. But I got white pizza. Okay. I mean, I got no. I got two. I got white and regular because I didn't know how much money. People say you're a smarty. I am a smarty. Yes. You are a smarty. Okay. Wow. Mmm. Looks good. How many plates do you have there? Hello. Would you like to give your guest one hollow plate so he can serve himself? Does. Trace. Thank you. Aha, spatula. John Paul, would you like to see? Oh, yeah. It's fine. John Paul is neat and tidy and never needs additional tools. Right now we have to fix you something to drink. Would you like some meat or spinach or what would you yeah. like?
too, Lindsay. I would like a smaller glass. Did. In case you, in case you don't know, a drag queen is a man who just looks like a woman. Mm. <laughs> just uh, for performances, though. Oh, there. And I need that bag. A drag king is a woman who just looks like a man, but they're just for performances. Oh. oh. Yeah. Mm. And they sing so, like Judy Garland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know all the show tunes. <laughs> yep. They sing the show too. So, oh, look at your little grandchildren on these little yeah. 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 size shoe as me. <laughs> I'm being a bad vegetarian. I'm having some pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, you can sit here. No, I'm good. I love this kind of pizza. I have an ulterior motive. It's good. It's called white. It's white pizza. It has spinach and ricotta. I guess some mozzarella and some garlic. Mm. I think they just call it white pizza if it doesn't have tomato on it. Uh huh. Yours looks like it has broccoli on it. Is that a broccoli? No, I think it's just spinach. Spinach. <laughs> um, Mom Vince made two huge trays of ziti on Friday night. So we've been eating ziti three meals a day. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Does she have Italian? His mother is Italian. Just to give you an idea, her last name is Primavera. Mm -hmm. His father is Irish and German. Good mm. mix. Lorna and Manta. They are. Well, Lorna and Manta. Who is that? Laura and Amanda, the twins. Oh. My sister's grandchildren. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what they are. Uh, that's what Josephine's are. From South Philly. <laughs> the Primavera's from South Philly, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I had two self orders to start for me. So you put your pizza on your feet before you eat it. Well, <laughs> I, had a, I had two pink self orders. I mean, I made this from you did last week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, self portraits? A, you did them yourself? No, no. Two no. other artists that I made. Mm. One was a character journey of me and a gorilla. And but, the but other the, one. Go ahead. The, the other one was a very ugly version of me. Where'd you have it done? One was at Hershey Park. The caricature was at Hershey Park, and the self-portrait was done at Kolish Nantu, my art class. We asked very Picasso asked his his art class in in um, like up in Northern Liberties at Project Home. Oh, yeah. oh, he still goes there. We need to find an adult. What about you, John Paul? Mm -hmm. Does the local I heard art him. center have one? Where he yeah, but I'd like him to fit in mm. with the group. Mm -hmm. I understand you gave up art for the Timothy School. Yes. How do you feel about that? I'm pretty exhausted of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he told me. I think I've taken enough art lessons. I did the same thing with the piano, I said. Mm -hmm. After 15 years, <laughs> yeah. I agree. Well, but I wanted one to day John Paul will rise again. <laughs> Ted, put your arm down. 
John Paul will rise again only if he wants to. So, how was all the John Paul will rise again. My abuelita, and mm -hmm. she's doing fine. Good. And how is your father? <laughs> He's gone. He's fine. So tell me what the twins are up to. And David. You mean my twin cousins? No, your twin no, 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 nephews. My niece and nephews. nephews. Oh. Yeah. They're doing uh, just perfect, except that they misbehave themselves too much. I'm not, not my old brother Davy, just my niece and nephews. Mm -hmm. Without even understanding until they're older to adults like one of each of us. Yeah, they have to get older. What were they doing to you yesterday? I don't know, teasing me? Mm -hmm. When you were laying on the couch, what were they doing? Tickling me. Tickling you, huh? And you let them? <laughs> Grudgingly. <laughs> nope. How old you yell, David, David, David. <laughs> you should yell, David, control your children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> JP, how old are your niece and nephew? How old are um, they? My twin, uh, my twin kids, my, my twin niece and nephew, are um, uh, three years old. It's like Elmo is, mm -hmm. and of course, um, my other nephew William, uh, he is tw he's two years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're trying to get themselves a basketball team. Yeah, so so does he want more? Tell me. You want another piece, John Paul? No, why not? Just one. Why not? I didn't want to. I didn't. I wanted to ask you first. I didn't. Mm -hmm. well, See, she had a problem conceiving. Oh, okay. so she went through all that. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. She had the twins, and figured that. You know, she have to be careful. Be careful, and <laughs> bato. <Got it. laughs> all I know is like, all I know is I think a art class with ten other homeless yeah. people. I was. I you had uh, homeless. No, no. You have a home. You have a very nice home. I know. You just don't want to brag about it in front of the people in your art class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't mm. worry. I don't intend to. Oh my heavens! Excuse me. Now that's one of the things you have to work on before Lindsay's wedding. Okay. Yeah. You really have to. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <Don't>. <laughs> Mom, if this kid can't have table manners, he's eating in the parking lot. What? I'm totally serious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you cannot belch or fart at the wedding. Yeah. The whole Sorry. day. No belching, no farting, just chewing with your mouth closed. <laughs> I'm laughing because he's in the same direction. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, I'm actually... actually <laughs> Will you have the farting at the wedding? <laughs> Did you do it? Did you forget to do it? You know, I, I, actually was, I actually was standing there thinking, what do I do if right in the middle of the ceremony Vince just cuts one right in the middle of it? What am I going to do? You just keep Ooh. one going. Right. It's something that nobody will probably hear. And the thing is, Dad, Dad is the worst. Mm -hmm. and, and he'll just, he doesn't filter himself, so he'll just go. Mm -hmm. You know he'll do it. I don't know how. What? You had the misfortune of getting such horrible parents. I have a wonderful mother. <laughs> I have a wonderful, wonderful mother. Mm -hmm. Well, your father has a frontal lobe head injury. He's lucky to be alive, so I think he could be a little more tolerant. <laughs> right, John Paul? Right. There are things worse than death. <laughs> You're not what supposed was to learn this before, before the accident. <laughs> oh, <he's just> <laughs> The accident. He was a lawyer. <laughs> Joey, I, I'm heading up to get myself another piece of pizza. May I bring you one? Thank you. Oh. That's what I say to people. Well, his head injury makes him belligerent, and he doesn't censor himself, mm -hmm. and he's overly emotional. Before his accident, he was a lawyer. Wait, I'm glad I got enough said. <laughs> That's the worst part. Oh. I watched one guy eat all his fries. I mean, he ate all of them. Mm -hmm. What well, guy? Another guy that I'll let. Yeah, I mean, he totally cleaned his plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, is this um, our group part of Elwin? No, it's a social group. Okay. In his, um, in his art class, 
that's our class is um at what place isn't it called Journey Home? Um, no, it's not Journey Home. Polish Donchino. That was a different one. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was Oasis, wasn't it? Oh, I've got the one confused. Um yeah, Journey Home is Oasis. Polish Donchino is different. And where do you go for Polish Donchino? That project home, the 1515 okay. Fairmont, Northern Liberties. Okay. Mm. Mm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I'm in there with 10 other homeless people. Hey, homeless. Do you like not being there? Because you, you don't have to there? go if you don't want to be there. Oh. How do you, you feel know, about I'm it? I'm getting pretty sick of it. Well, you don't have to go then. Mm. Who takes you there? James. Another guy, Todd. Mm. Todd is his Monday guy. Todd is the, Todd is the Monday guy. And he's supposed to be the Monday Tuesday guy. He's supposed to be the Monday Tuesday guy. Lindsay's the Tuesday guy. I'm the Tuesday guy, and but my job starts. My new job starts on September 5th. Yeah. Okay. So after August. Well, well, I've been, I've been, um, well, there are times at the end of the day I want to leave, but then. And Todd and the new art, the new art teacher James Webster, they start yakking away and yakking away and getting too much of the ears and getting too much of my psyche about some documentary they want to do. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't need to be in the documentary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Todd likes to talk a lot about movies he's going to make so that people will pay attention to him. Mm -hmm. That's my theory. Oh. Just like young girls, they always tell them they're going to put them in a movie if they're nice to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teddy, what do you say? Excuse me. At least put your hand over your mouth when you first. I, I love um, that everybody can't hear as much. I love introducing Vince's family to autism because they've never met an autistic person. Oh. Are they violent? <laughs> Only if you poke them with right. sticks. <laughs> Not any more than I will be in about yeah, ten well, minutes. Exactly. Not compared to Italians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's pretty much. I keep saying, well, it's just like anybody else. If you would oh, just them, about John Mulaney, just about as harmless as, or just about as harmless as anyone was provoked. Mm -hmm. John yeah. Paul, mm -hmm. I like your shirt. Yeah. Is, is it true that an elephant is your favorite animal? Mm -hmm. Not always. Uh, the, 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 the other favorite animals I, ha I have. Mm -hmm. Like what? Okapis. Mm -hmm. What are okapis? <laughs> what are they? Okapis are um, um, part giraffe, part zebra, part horse. Wow. There's one in the Philadelphia Zoo? One in the Philadelphia Zoo. Yeah. I have to go and see it. That was my next question. I had this story about this kangaroo. They kept a journal all the time he was at the zoo. Oh, yeah? You wrote this story? Yeah. And he kept a journal about all the other animals? Well, he kept a journal about his stay at the zoo. Oh. Monday, I hated it here. Tuesday, I hated it here. <laughs> Wednesday, I hated it here. I saw an animal at the San Diego Zoo that I decided was my favorite animal, animal but now I can't remember what it's called. It looks like a deer. It's only about that high. Mm. It's sort of like a cross between a deer and a chihuahua, but they can jump something like 70 stories high or something like that. So they Wow. They can jump straight up in the air, and that's how they avoid predators, which I thought was really funny. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite, his favorite animal is a liger. A liger, yeah. I uh, saw one of those on the What's a liger? It's, it's basically Napoleon Dynamite's favorite animal. It's a crush between a lion and a tiger. Basically, Bradford steals the magic. I know that liger and tiger rhyme, they sound the same. Do. So does Niger. Mm -hmm. hey. How about Nigel? That's our rhymes. No, 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 no. Nigel is a, is, a, is a character's name. Hey, John Paul, uh, just what I saw on the computer the other day, somebody sent me a movie. Ooh. Somebody, My friend Brian sent me a part of a Sesame Street episode. It was Law and Order Special Letters Unit. Mm -hmm. And they were looking for the letter M. What letter M was that? Oh, that! <laughs> yes, I remember that. They were that looking remember. for the letter M, and they had one Muppet that looked exactly like Richard Belzer. And another yeah. Muppet that looked exactly like Christopher Maloney. Yeah. And 
So yeah. the first one went out and he found a cow and they brought the cow in and they said, that's not the letter M. And he said, yeah, but let me show you. And he says to the cow, go ahead and say it. And the cow says, moo. <laughs> and then he brought a mallard duck. And then they brought in a mallard duck. They said, that's not the letter M, that's a duck. And he said, oh no, I'm not just any duck, I'm a mallard. Mm -hmm. But it was, it was written in the same style as Law and Order. <laughs> you could really see that it, it also went chum chum. And then finally, the, you know, the police chief falls asleep on the desk. They're like, somebody better wake him up. Do the noise again. Okay, chum chum. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that one uh, since last week on Monday. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And Monday's, Monday's an hour. word. What time? Mm -hmm. On Sesame Street, I don't, I don't know. know. Well, well, 10. Something like that. It was on the computer. Brian signed it to Yeah. Oh. Well. I thought, Chris, I thought Maloney's head look kind of like Guy Smiley's head, except with smaller eyes and bigger eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I liked... I liked he's not Guy Smiley. He's not Guy Smiley, you're right, he's no. Maloney. And then there was Munch. Munch mm -hmm. was the other, was the oh one that God. was Richard Belzer. It was his, mm -hmm. Mommy was hysterical. Munch is hysterical. He used to be on all the shows. I know, he used to be on all the shows. Oh, I do have a MySpace page. MySpace, 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 thing. MySpace is a is a thing on the internet. Uh huh. MySpace kind of stinks too. Yeah. Well, they're not pretty much lots of them set their head, but I'm not sure the Brits are worse than pain. There's well, one girl that tried to try to just try to sell me porn. Well, maybe you better go off of MySpace. That's why you should stay away from MySpace. Buddy. Maybe that's what they might. Yeah, that's what I've heard. heard. <coughs> Kids get into. Can get into Yes, they do get into trouble with my space. Mm -hmm. I think you should stay away from it. What's for dessert, oh. Ted? Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Um, Ted, we'll stop we on the way home. Ted, do we have any okay. ice cream? Oh. We forgot about dessert. Oh. Oh, oh, God. God. You're a dessert guy. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Well, we'll stop with Rita's on the way home, okay? Uh, you can get mango. Mm -hmm. Mango, mango gelati. Mango gelati. Or whatever you want. Whatever you want. They're like okay. gelati. Me and my mother will still stop on the way home, Ted. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay. for dessert. Okay. Well, basically, I've got a lot of emails from psychologists and from experts at autism. You can get emails from them? Through your MySpace page? Ted, you... Up, uh, also through Comcast. Hey, Ted, you know what? I think you're making it up. I don't think you're telling the truth. I think you're saying it. I'll do Comcast I am. Okay, go print one out and show it to him. He can't write heavy stuff. Oh, right. mm. Have some lady fix his computers. She comes to your house. Mm. <sighs> and he goes like this. There it's this. <laughs> That'll be $100. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 65 an hour. Oh. <laughs> hey, if I know how to do it, I'll do that. Well, I mean, you just go. Amen. How do you feel about computers, John Paul? Do you use your computer, John Paul, or does your mom use it? We both use computers. Do you use the computer? Mm -hmm. But he's not connected to the internet. Nope. Mm -hmm. He likes to watch his DVDs on oh. his computer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or he plays games. Mm -hmm. But he has CD moms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ted has a website called TedHarris.pa. No, it's TedHarrisPA.com. Uh, work to me into. They don't have any um, oh, CD ROMs of Get Set to Read 2 uh, at all. Let's check that out. All right. <laughs> How about I write it out for you? Okay, Ted, you can go write it on a piece of paper and then we can look at it. Write down a piece of What's with your? Why does I don't know. I'll write it down. We got uh, get get set to read uh, one of those uh, CD, CD ROM boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not get set to read two. I, don't want to answer. I think you just like those on the couch when you watch us do it. I like the bad pillows on the couch too, but there's covers for them. Mm. Like they don't have Emil's Art Workshop too either. No. No. Or Crayola Crowds. So what's the last and movie? The Corel Art Studio Three. Ah. What's that? What's, what's the last good movie you saw? Uh. What did we see last week? 
Zoom. What's Zoom? Zoom is a, is a movie, and mm -hmm. it's about um, strong people. Oh, that's right. For outer space. That's right. It's, isn't it about kids who have special talents, so they make them into superheroes? Yes. Yeah. Some superheroines, too. Idiot. They remind me of, um, uh, of um, uh, grooms and brides dresses as superheroes and superheroines. Mm -hmm. Ted and I uh, saw Pirates of the Caribbean, too. Yeah, we saw them. Did you like it, John Paul? It was movie? scary. Mm -hmm. Was it scary? Yeah, because of that Kraken. Mm -hmm. The Kraken mm -hmm. was scary. It was a giant squid. It, it was, was a giant octopus. Giant octopus. He was very scary. Ted has drawn us for years. The land of Paratia. We're about to see Aunt Polly this week, but it's not in the theaters. It's not. It's like a, car a cartoon. Oh, yeah. do you go to the movies every week? Since mm, school's not, out? No, not really, but we seem to, you know, have spurts where we go once a week, mm -hmm. and then we don't go for a while, and then we go mm -hmm. again. Ted saw Lady in the Water, mm -hmm. which I wanted to say so maybe. Yeah, you didn't see that. Who took him to see that? Probably Todd. I think Todd. Ted, who took you to see Lady in the Water? Todd. Is it scary? Mm -hmm. You guys see snakes on a plane? No. I don't really like them to take him to automated movies. And nobody listens to me. Well, it's because the snakes remind me of Elmo thinking of snakes yeah. in the world. Mm. Maybe you can get an email snakes. from Oscar the Grouse about snakes, like mm. the snake in the can for instance. For you. And, then able, and, then, and maybe Elmo can speak to a snake charmer or a snake basket about snakes. My goodness, what mm. you, know, you have all these sites? Yep. Yep, I'm going to write this down. Mm. Every time you get to have one that has JP Ted puppet shows. What? How come there's one with JP Ted puppet shows? Well, you still do puppet shows? You still don't. I don't I'm know. too exhausted for that one. Yeah, I know. You're too exhausted. They're too exhausting, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Teddy loves to do puppet shows. Puppet shows exhaust me out too much. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Why do they exhaust you out? Well, because uh, I've done enough uh, puppet shows lately. Oh, did you do one for the twins? Uh, yes. We did one for their first birthday. Oh. I'm going to say he danced with his dog. Okay. And Raymond went scoop to my friend in the room screaming. Please. Oh, my goodness, in fear. Well, that didn't help. I couldn't get Elizabeth to get out from the back. She kept playing with the puppets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was puppets. No. All right. We're going to do it this year, but so much happened this year. Mom, the car's ready. Oh, good. Oh. Tell them we'll be over in a little, we'll be over in a couple hours. Tell them we'll be over in a while. We'll be over in a while. Hello? 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 Yeah, hang up. Sorry, uh, I'm on. I'm on my cell phone with my secret operative, Sapphire Seventeen. Well, what do you think about the war and terror about that? Uh, just have to deal with this. Loose, it's broke loose. Well, that about that. Now on to this. What? What's the deal with all the things that Bush had planned for America? It's nothing but the nonsensical ravings of a lunatic mind. Well, that too, but you know how it is, but. Is there any reason we can war for peace? You can do it. I mean, yeah, it's just true. I guess it's true, but... What can we do about Ozama? Auto prisons! Well, I know about that, but... Is there anything we can do? Auto prisons! Well, I know that, but... Is there any way we can war for peace? What's the outlook look out now? I don't get that. Well, we'll see that. Anyway, um, why don't we get to more of the show? Anyway, um, this is going to take a while. Why don't we get to more of the show? 
You know, these things are a bit... Uh, yeah. You know, he's really it's upset. an account that um, only oh, I am uh, supposed to be able to write to sign the checks. Uh-huh. And because but anyway, it's all in the question. Oh, you should see the checks if they accept such a signature. Oh, it's amazing. So I said... Oh, yeah. <gasps> you know what Ted's signature looks like, so... And he just goes in for yeah, around. Yeah, you can take a check and put it in all that. It's on it. Ted Harris. And it's right. Really? The oh, 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 yeah. Is that, I could have used your uh, credit card for that. No, he wrote a check. Uh, they, I don't remember. Well, I don't, yeah, I'm not sure. I, just, I, 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 I guess I probably assumed. We're hanging on every word uh -huh. here. Yeah, I know. I know. So, I called the company. I said, <laughs> to explain what happened. What's happening? You know, I said, this is an autistic person. I said, no idea. They mm -hmm. I said, you know, and they were very sympathetic to me. And all. I said, can you tell me how much you spent so that I can cover? Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I can do something. Yeah. It's in both of ours. But, well, that's what I mean. Your name's on it. Yeah. Didn't matter. He was the one who signed the check. He was the one whose name was on the account. So you think you went through the canceled checks? What? Couldn't I didn't get the canceled checks. The account doesn't provide I mean, this, this oh. just apparently just, you know, he he wrote one check every EBB. Yeah, so you're 29. So plus, plus, plus. I went to the bank. Yeah. And I said, First I, first, I said, I'll come to the bank accepted these checks when this account's supposed to be just me really signing it. And they said, yeah. they said, if he walked into a bank with a check that he wrote and signed, the teller would, would it, come up yeah. on the screen that I was the representative of the mm -hmm. and they would not mm -hmm. cash it. But if he writes a check to a third party, mm -hmm. and, but they didn't they, that. and it comes back to the bank, goes through the computer, the computer sees his name on the account, mm -hmm. So anyway, it came to $1,087. But I said to I'm the company, not laughing. I said to the company, yeah, we're not keeping it. You know, this is, yeah. you can cancel it. They said, we can't cancel. We've already processed the orders, which was, I oh, think, shit. a bunch of shit. Yeah. But anyway, they said, which, when the packages come, just refuse, write, re refuse delivery. Uh -huh. And we'll get them back, and then we'll Straight send down. you. So, um, you know, the final package came, I think, first of August or something. And at least you, you caught the first package that came. Yeah. Well, he, he see, he opened them because I had no idea what was going on. And, of course, I needed to know what his account was, yes. the, the number, so that I could, you know, reference mm -hmm. it. Well, that's interesting. And, you know, when people say to me, he's so independent. I know. <laughs> I know. That's a place to, I mean, I, when I went to the bank, I said, you know, I am amazed. And I said, you know, I probably shouldn't say this to you, but I'm amazed that he was able to do this. The whole this season we've been checking for 10 years. I said, figure out. And he didn't give him all of it. He didn't write. He, he, right, he didn't fill out the order form. So he wrote a letter for each two. I mean, this is what I'm figuring. Yeah. Because he wrote a check. And the company never looks at something like that and says, That's what one of my sisters kid. said. Wouldn't they have? No. You know, I said, you know, they, don't give a they shit. showed me the, the check on the screen that had already been uh, submitted mm -hmm. on the bank screen. And it was written. You know, like a check should be written. So I said, that yeah, this was so probably I've got one or two. I think it was either the headstone or the oh, no, the one was because they were going to know to deliver And the other was the handwriting is strange. Of course, they don't know when to go to the house. Hurry back, Ted. I mean, the Nordic track, he would meet the, the UPS truck. The Nordic truck, that one was hilarious. I was walking outside to go to work, and I see him tiptoeing up the driveway with the guards in the car. Excuse me. With the garden. It's our age. We have no control anymore. 
Oh, aren't you polite? <laughs> Tip took over the driveway with the garden cart with this like box as high as tall as he is, and it tipped over the lawn. And the thing is, he's getting away with it. I said, Ted, what are you doing? He goes, shh. As if nobody would notice. Like, but the thing is, nobody was noticing. That was the thing. <laughs> now he met the me. Oh, here, you know, what this, how great you're here. I don't have to go in the driveway. And yeah, well, Chrissy has a special relationship with the well, husband anyway. Yeah. I guess I ordered that coffee. That dad must have figured it was pretty mad about something. Yeah, what was going on with so. the coffin again? I'm trying to remember. I was at home. Oh, Teddy, don't coffee. do it again. Ever. All right. I won't. Talking, people talk about funny things that kids do before they know better, but we're yeah. better, better. Yeah, yeah that's funny. not funny anymore. All right. Yeah, that takes a lot of initiative. Was it a Halloween decoration or was it a real coffin? <laughs> was it a real coffin? You ordered it for Halloween. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, because people have coffins in their yard. And you got it in the back of a magazine. There are people who buy them and sleep in them and they're kind of stuff. Kinky people. So oh, that's exciting. What yeah. Is that this yeah, summer? between that and my mother in law. On her way to the promised land. But it seems I'm the one that's always there when Chris is It amazes me. Martha isn't. It's like you're usually the daughter's the one that's stuck. She worked that one out well, didn't she? She sure did. Never learned to cook. So I was, I was just trying to learn you know, clean the chimney of our was. Yeah, I remember meeting her. But and they were teasing her. They bought her a soup, a cup of soup mix that was black bean soup. Oh no, so she And they were passing it around because she doesn't cook. Uh huh. And she prides herself on it, probably. Yeah. But I Joanne makes. But Joanne makes all the Cuban food. So whenever they have a, uh -huh. a Cuban get together, so Joanne so makes all the food. The uh -huh. was. And Martha just goes, oh, I don't Martha know. just comes as the honored guest. And they had this black bean soup, and they were passing it around, saying, here, Martha, you can finally cook. You can finally make black bean soup. Put it in the microwave. She, says, she does it in the house. So it's sort of funny. I don't cook. Well, but it's the same with, with, with the other situation, because yeah. it's her mother. Paul, did you see Ted's Andy Warhol book? It's kind of interesting. Well, I'm not Sit down and look at it. Yeah, I want to. One day, John Paul will rise again. Who's with me? Who will rise again, Ted? I got an email from my sister Janice. What's she doing? Well, she was doing fine until yesterday. She went to get <sighs> gas. Rise again. And rise again, Ted. you have to be careful in Florida mm -hmm. because you to rob you all. So she thought when she got out of the car that she locked the car. Okay? She went, she standing right there, she's pumping her own gas. Somebody opened the passengers while she was pumping the gas. Stole the purse. She said she never had she had no idea until she she opened the Harris the driver's side door off. and saw okay. that the passenger's door was open. No problem. She didn't even see the person. You know what? They were probably they were probably sitting there waiting all day. Absolutely. Yeah. I thought I said they were probably hiding in the bushes, just waiting for the opportunity. Oh. A, a friend of mine was in Starbucks in New York, and she was grading papers at a at a table. Her purse was right next to her the whole time. She never got up, never got anything. So she just kind of just, and she was just sitting here like, "Hey, this was Lena." And they said to her, um, they said, well, yeah, it's extremely common that you hang out and start all of that. Sitting on the floor under the seat, and there was a family there. It was a couple of towhead kids. They always tell you to be careful for the gypsies. Yeah, right. A couple of towhead kids and a young, the parents, and the kid, one kid was playing on the floor. They scooped up the kid and left, and they took it. I don't know if they took her whole bag or the stuff that was in it, but it, it must have been the whole bag. They had her. Oh. So then they had to go to the police station. They were leave blind, no the next day. They never saw it coming. 
Because we thought, oh, I said they were gypsies. I said, were they gypsies? She said, no, they were little toads. They were little kids. So here yeah, these people have their kids from. Mm -hmm. There, are, there are a lot of people who. Uh, I was at. A, I was. Leave, I was in a department store once, and there was a woman who was being uh, smacked on the wrist for shoplifting. Not even arrested, but smacked on the wrist. But she was working with her kid. Um, and they were basically giving her a first a pet smack on the wrist because she was really cute. She was probably late 20s, or early 30s. And they were basically, she was crying and chagrined and blah, blah, blah. I could tell it was totally an act. Mm -hmm. The kid was going, come on, mom, let's go, come on. The kid was probably about six or seven. And what they were doing, apparently, was she would, she, you know, those big racks that are around, what she would do is she would park a bag under it. And then what she would do is she would take clothes off hangers and drop them, and, and the kid would be under the foot in the bag. Mm. That's an old trick. Yeah. Well, One girl was on the news. Some, uh, some guy was doing something at Home Depot or something, and he, they had video of the kid being sent in mm -hmm. to steal. Yeah, to steal, and then the father would come, you know, to, or you know, she would go out and meet the father outside or something. Mm -hmm. You know, you would never thought that it would be right. a kid, but. They had it on video. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, one time I was robbed at Suburban Street Station. I was robbed at Suburban Street Station. One guy took all my money. Is that true, or are you saying It's true. Well, how come you never told us about this before? You were there by yourself? No, I had to take the train home. Who were you? In Suburban well, Street Station? Yeah. How come you never told us about this before, Ted? Well, they won't worry you. Oh, well, I think we'll skip the Monday train ride. Hey, Ted. Well, I like yeah. the, hey, Ted. Well, I do like the train ride. When did home. this happen? Um, when was this? 2003. Ted, that doesn't make us feel good. Um, that's bad. Who, who dropped you off at the station? Jerry. Okay, was this from Coalition Ingenieur or was it from, from just a day in Philly? Coalition Ingenieur. Okay. And how much money did they take? $20. What, and happened? what happened to your wallet and your driver's license and all that stuff? Um, I still have a... You just handed them the money? Yeah. What did they say to you? Um, so what happened? They walked up to we you We need to hear the whole story. You have to tell someone. There was a guy, the, it was a guy that came up and he, had, he told me he didn't have any money to get home was, so I give him a 20. Uh, Ted, you know what? He didn't rob That's you. different, Teddy. He panhandled. That's panhandling. And you and I have talked at great length about panhandling. Mm -hmm. And you don't give them money. They always make up a story. Mm -hmm. I had somebody come up to me and say, I'm diabetic and I have to get my diabetes medicine. And, oh, wait, I think I'm having another dizzy spell. Whoa! I just turned around across the street and walked away. No panhandling. It doesn't, I don't care if they don't have legs, I don't care if they don't have a head, Ted. Mm -hmm. You are not giving money to anyone, unless I tell just you. Just say, just say, gee, I was going to ask you for some money. <laughs> a friend of mine, a friend of mine, yeah, you should, you should say, I was going to ask you the same thing. Mm -hmm. I get, I get asked for cigarettes all the time. And I go, and I always say, I just bummed one off that guy over there. Uh -oh. And the other thing I get is, uh, Feels like, Teddy. Mm -hmm. Because I, I just tell my give at the office. Ted, say nothing mm -hmm. walk and walk away. away. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. Say nothing and walk away. All right. That also means that we can't let you be alone in town anymore. Well, come on, I can handle myself. All right, but we'll see. But you don't give people twenty dollar bills. All right. And you I'm sorry. Get robbed, if you if you waste that money robbed. like that, Ted, if you waste money like that, we we can't let you have money. I'll be, I'll be good, I promise. Right, I, I don't want to discuss this any further. We're done discussing. We're not discussing it anymore. Um, Are you all upset, John? A friend of mine moved. A friend of mine moved to Seattle, and when he first moved there, uh, he was having trouble finding finding his job and so on and so forth. So he had a period of time that things just weren't going so well. He was um, so what did you crashing do on one friend's summer? couch. When he did the summer. He had uh, a girlfriend who was a basement. When he did the summer, um, her, my son was out of the fridge. And, um, just think to a bubble room restaurant. I think restaurant was, was that he had a job that, that he, um, like, he was on a bi weekly uh, pay period or something. Mm -hmm. So he was waiting for a check or something. So he was out walking around. He had a dollar and 45 cents in change. In his oh, and he was out walking around the Capitol Hill. And, and somebody said, oh, nice. Can you spare some change? And he goes, 
Captiva Island. I was oh, wrong. You went to Captiva. What's, yeah. a Florida? What's, a bubble, yeah. what's the bubble restaurant? Uh, oh, bubble, bubble room restaurant. The bubble room it's restaurant. It's a school of everything in there. Yeah, it's very eclectic. Uh huh. What did it look like? A restaurant with uh, everything, especially especially uh, the animals mm -hmm. and the instruments, mm -hmm. musical instruments. That's cool. It's like There's a flea market. <laughs> like a flea market. Uh huh. I mean, there was all kinds of stuff on the walls. That's you really know, one cool. of those places. Uh -huh. I don't. Well, let's see. You probably had a Coca-Cola Classic for, uh -huh. for just for, to drink. Or no, maybe yeah. iced tea. Ice I tea. don't remember. Did you Did you hear about his dolphin experience? Did you swim? Uh huh. What yeah. happened? He was in the ocean. <laughs> oh. We went to the beach, and my sisters and I are sitting on the beach, and John falls in the water. And all of a sudden, this big black thing comes out about three feet away from me. <laughs> and what was it? It was a, it was a dolphin. Yeah. Did you pet it? No, I didn't pet it. It didn't cure your autism or anything, did no. you? No. you got to keep that. That's right. You like autism. Can't get rid of the autism. That dolphin was trying to trying to bother us on porpoise. I don't on think porpoise. On porpoise. <laughs> oh. said hi to us. Who this told you that joke? He did. He, he made, he it, made up. it up. Yeah. John Paul, you are yeah. a dolphin. You're amazing. <laughs> yeah. That was exciting. I think he just wanted to check oh, you out. Oh my gosh. So what yeah. did you think it was? Oh, I was up out of my chair screaming. <laughs> it was a shark. <laughs> I had everybody on the beach. It was not a shark. It was a dolphin. No, it, that's it was right. a dolphin. That's right. Were you lucky. Safe. Yeah. It was perfectly you were lucky. Safe. I thought it was also manatee. See, yeah, that's because you have a good manatee. karma. There was no manatee on that beach. We, we figured he was probably out there singing, and the dolphins apparently respond to uh, Were you noise. singing in the water? But he said uh, no, he no. wasn't, but he said he's probably talking to himself. Oh, my God. <laughs> the dolphin came to see what was going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> probably thought you were telling him a story. Uh -huh. These two crabs walk into a bar. Right. They said, do you serve crabs here? <laughs> that is so amazing. Oh, what else did you do in Florida besides the bubble restaurant and the dolphin swimming? Involuntary dolphins. Uh, we went on a boat. We saw dolphins there. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, uh, what was that boat again? I don't remember what it was called. Uh, it was just a sightseeing boat. <clears throat> it was the Beach Lollipop. Mm -hmm. Computer working. <laughs> Is he on the Oh, no, he's going to talk to himself. <laughs> Limerick. Limerick? Limerick? Oh, was it the Limerick? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it Maybe probably uh, was. Uh, yes, it was uh, an Irish uh, uh, Irish company that was running the boat, so obviously. it probably was called Limerick. Right. Obviously. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So you got to see dolphins on porpoise and not on porpoise. Yeah. Not on porpoise, indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you had to put up with your mother and two aunts. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy days. yourself mm -hmm. with your aunts? You don't get mm -hmm. to see them too often. Right? No, there's not. That's right. Then you saw your grandmother. Yeah. Oh, my mother don't. Fine. Good well. for her. And she's living with Jackie? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was, she was uh, called pernicious anemia, so she needs a shot of B12 once a month. Mm hmm. That's it. She's 89 years old. Oh, God. <laughs> Sometimes I'll talk to her and she'll say, Oh, I just, I'm just feeling lazy today. I don't think I'll do much of anything. <laughs> so who cares about <laughs> You're up, you're breathing. <laughs> Any day above ground's got to be a good day. Right. Oh, no on. broken bones. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, i got to get to 12. That actually sounds pretty good. <laughs>
if it's working for her, well, people used to get big chalk shots all the time. Yeah, I know they did. Get, get them. Uh -huh. She should go and get a big chalk shot. Right. Yeah, yeah your shirt doesn't cover them. I mean, it covers because them for people who need them. Anemia. I mean, yeah. that's what she needs. And then she, but, but she, she gets for, forgetful. Because, see, I, when she was diagnosed with it, you know, I explained it to her, you know, told her, remember, Mom, this isn't, you know, like the old days, people don't die from this. You know, mm -hmm. All you need is a B12 shot once a month, mm -hmm. and you'll be fine. Oh, okay, yes, yes, I understand, I understand. And then, <laughs> I guess last month, uh, you know, she was saying, oh, you know, I'm not feeling real good. I said, well, have you had your B12 yet? Um, well, I don't think I had that yet. I said, Mom, you know, you need that once a month for the pernicious anemia. What pernicious anemia? Oh, oh no! Oh. So, oh, the pernicious no. anemia you've had for a couple of years now. I never knew I had pernicious anemia. Well, that means I'm going to die. So she went into her room and she closed the door. She went to bed. She wouldn't talk to anybody for a day because oh, she no. thought she was going to die. Oh, no. <laughs> Sister said, "Oh, thanks a lot, Joanne." Yeah. <laughs>
spend it. so much time together, don't they? Yeah, I know. They, 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 they <laughs> just like to be in, in each other's orbit. The Timothy School staff goes out apparently for a happy hour uh -huh. the, the day before the last day of camp. Okay. The then camp they was. Jump they came out to the car about a couple of days at the time and said, "So we'd like to take John Paul with us to the happy hour and on Thursday after work." <laughs> looked at them. He said, we, "We'll we'll take them, you know, from work and we'll bring them home. We promise we won't bring them." Did they give him a drink? <laughs> he wouldn't have drank. I know, I can't drink. I'm well, I said, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's all yours. So he comes rolling in around 4.30. <laughs> oh, two hours <laughs> in a bar. <laughs> Whoa. I said, how was it? He said, well, I had a really nice time. I said, you did? He said, yeah, I like my friends at Jimmy's school better than my autistic friends because they don't bug me. <laughs> Ever truthful. <laughs> oh God, that's funny. That's well, fun. it's, that's one of the things that I noticed about, like, one of the things I love about his birthday parties is how they all sit around and talk to each other. Because it's not like, if you meet somebody who's mainland Chinese and you don't understand them, they can understand other Chinese people. Mm -hmm. But you put a whole bunch of autistic people in the room, they've all got communication difficulties. It's not yeah. like they all magically have the same language. Right. So they sit there going, I, I can remember, who was that kid with the eyebrows? Michael Ashnell? Oh, yeah. That oh, really, yeah. That yeah, really obnoxious kid who was like, Daddy, 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 how come when you eat, you always eat with your mouth open? Hey, Daddy, how come? Uh, <laughs> hey, Daddy, Daddy, how come your dad calls you Ted? Oh, really? I don't remember him doing that. God, that kid was so annoying. Who it is? He was, well, you see, we carpooled with him oh, for camp. Oh, okay. And the first oh. time, and the deal was, yeah. I think that his father probably always let kids go when I was there, like they'd drive one mile and I'd drive one mile or whatever we did in our car. But they would, so however we took turns driving, I would take turns letting Ted sit in the back one time and Michael sit in the back the other time. Because <coughs> he's always, I want to be in the front, I want to be in the front. So the first time he got in the front of the car, before I had the door closed, <coughs> and every radio station changed. I thought it would come on. Yeah, he's just one of those roll oh, okay. yeah. Well, they never medicated him. And he was sort of hyperactive. Yeah, mm -hmm. but yeah they, I remember that. Uh, but they could, but it was tolerable. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. I wanted to kill him. The first, well, time, I, the first time I ever met him, he came to one of his birthday parties. He was dressed in a double costume. I was scared to death. <coughs> I was like, did it, did, does anybody know who this kid is? <laughs> well, I hate to tell you, but of all the kids, he was probably the one we all would have traded for because he wasn't that difficult. <laughs> right. No, I... I but at, at any rate, he would always say, you know, Ted, 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 why are you going to call you Ted? One time, Dad was in the car with them, and they, uh, they, uh, water. <coughs> Thank you. That was very nice. That was very nice. Um, it's all right. Ted, Ted, and Mike, Ted, and Ted and Mike Lash, I got in the car, and Dad goes, hey, Tatter, how's it going? And he goes, Teddo, Teddo, why is he calling you Teddo? Why is he calling you that? And Ted goes, my father's just being affectionate. <laughs> Are you filming us? I used to. Have you been filming this all this time, Ted? Why don't you film John Paul? He's the one you want. Yeah. Besides, John Paul's much more interesting than we are. I was, um, I used to take Elliot home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Elliot was a talker. Oh, really? Oh, and That's it was funny. a long ride. Oh, no. <laughs> And we finally had to, you know, compromise. And Elliot was allowed to ask John Paul three questions. <laughs> Is that what you did? I always think it's funny the way the kids, instead of asking, will ask you. Mm -hmm. yeah. They'll walk up to me and say, why is Ted blah, 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 blah. And they'll walk up to you and say, why is John Paul blah, 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 blah. And I finally learned to say, well, you'll have to ask John Paul. Uh, yeah. And I get dumb enough to try and answer the question. And it's something that I really don't want to explain because it's not a good thing. Yeah, I said it because I figure. Isn't it funny how some of those kids are really question kids? 
And some of them, like Heather, Heather McFall. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Heather McFall drives me insane. Oh, and the yeah. other thing is that she, well, what we did last year at Ted's birthday she's was around Nancy. Oh, my God. Oh, guess what? Heather McFall came out of the closet. I mean exactly what I said. Oh. Heather yeah, McFall's a lesbian. Who told you that? James. Ted, he said it in front of Ted. In front of Ted. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Which explains, you know, why she won't leave, you, should, you know, she, she doesn't leave girls alone at, at parties. She's always following them around asking them questions. Think about it. But I thought she just, that it was just the novelty of Nancy being there and being somebody new. I, it probably was. That sort of thing. It probably because we was. were at the Lynn Villa, I guess, mm -hmm. and Nancy came at a hayride mm -hmm. where I started boycotting Lynn Villa. Yeah. Well, she, um. What, she wouldn't stop. One woman boycott. Yeah. Sales are down. One apple. <laughs> <laughs> one, one time she wouldn't stop. I, we were all over here for Ted's birthday and she wouldn't stop asking the questions. Finally, I dragged her and Ted out on the porch with the video camera and said, okay, it's Ted Harris, the definitive interview. I just let her you know, go until finally she was like, I don't have any more questions to ask. Yeah, it's amazing how the, the difference. I mean, there just seem yeah. to be two classes. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who don't want to be bothered and the other ones who won't show. Yeah, the ones that are like, I'm a performer! <laughs> Stand back! Well, it's interesting, the statistic for autism is 1 in 166 I know. on the advertisement on TV. Mm -hmm. When our kids were in school, it was 1 in 5,000. Mm -hmm. Right. And mostly boys. Mostly boys. Four out of five so, are boys. So, yeah, what happened? They're, they're like diagnosed. The they're giving the diagnosis to everybody. Everybody, everybody now. It, it because it's stigma. Be and because, because you can get funding for it now. Uh, I think it's. I think it's. I guess they were all the kids disease. that are were mm -hmm. SED. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Now. Are now autistic. I was sitting in church talking to this kid for like a half an hour. His mother sits down and she says, "Oh, he has. He's a little bit autistic." Who? Me? <laughs> Honey, I'll show you this. Yeah. I have movies. <laughs> I can remember Charlie Dennis and I went to a, a lecture once by, what's her name? Temple, Temple Grandin. Grandin. Uh -huh. And we walked out, we looked at each other and we said, we'll show you what this. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I, actually, I get really oh. offended because there are a lot of adults who are like, well I've discovered that because I'd rather be at home on the internet all day, I think I might be a little bit autistic. And it's like, no, you're not. Well, because I don't, because I, because I don't communicate with others, and I'd rather be at home on the internet all day. Seventy-five percent of men. Know. Shut up and get outside. Shut up and go outside. Seventy-five. No, How generous of you. you. Yes, I know. How it's very know. generous of you. Oh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, my amazing recording, please. Here is Rodolfo, the amazing. Is Ted, you have that on, don't you? He is you going to camera. jump from there to there to there to there to there on top of uh, Jumble's head. Jumble, please! Teddy, Teddy, there's nothing. Uh, Where? Ow! He landed on Cole. The Cole. Cole. Rodolfo made contact with the cat. Yeah, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Teddy, there's nothing on my head. I missed them. Uh, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke, John Paul. It was a joke. Okay. Like the porpoise. Yeah, but I'm yeah, just amazed at these kids. But, um, <laughs> I figure I had to break the ice somehow. I, just, I know I told you this. They had an autism I camp. Right. Or one the auti new autistic groups. Uh -huh. I, I figure I had to break the ice somehow. No, I'm not, I don't even get a news out of it. Been there, done that. <laughs> and uh, they had a booth up town when they had a when they're super strong, oh, yeah. and they care for people. Yeah. Good for them with your. Actually, what really annoyed the hell out of me was when Time Magazine had the big article about a few months ago. Yeah. And they had the kid who was so sick and tired of being sick. So cute. The perfect blonde, skinny, snaggle tooth, adorable little kid with a slightly misty look in his eye. It's like they're not all cute. No, no, but I can remember oh, back in the old days. The old days, they always said that, that they, they were good-looking good children. Good-looking yeah. children. Uh, 
Ted for was, whatever reason. Ted was an insanely cute kid. Mm -hmm. I'm and sure so John was Paul was insanely yeah, cute. Too. I do remember the first time I saw John Paul yes. walking across the street, and I said, who's that? And somebody said, that's John Paul Gomez. I said, nobody with curly hair like that <laughs> and John Paul Gomez can possibly be autistic. <laughs> and look how wrong you were. <laughs> You it's and, the you and many psychologists <laughs> for many years, but you know. So, but I think, you know, I but just I think like, that's why so many people said you're going. Oh well, I might be a little bit autistic. No, you're not. You're just yeah, right. Autistic. I didn't think that it. You, you say know know you asked them. Of it, you say now, when you were little, did you play with what's in your diaper? No. Did yeah. you? <laughs> I come up with these really horrible things. Like, right. uh -huh. no. Did you stick peas up? <laughs> Did you scream all night? No, I didn't do anything like that. Then Forget it. Forget it. <laughs> uh, Did you scream every time you pass a street uh, sign with an E and an R in it? Uh -huh. <laughs> can you remember what your mother said to you on oh, five years right, ago? Can you remember on what the you day. Mean? Yes. <laughs> the day of the week. <laughs> okay, October twenty fifth, nineteen seventy one. What was the weather then? What was the weather at two thirty seven p.m. Uh huh. What day of the week? <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move your wristwatch four inches to the left. Does it make you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> right. Are they making fun of us, John Paul? <laughs> Do you ever watch Monk? No. Uh, but he's OCD, oh, right? Yeah, I know, uh -huh. but he's got some real good idea, behaviors. He's a little and I are getting stirred I was trying direction. to watch it. I wouldn't watch it, but I wanted to watch it only because I had heard so much funny about Shalom. it that it's really a funny show. Oh, it is. Ed it's doesn't a, care for funny. that actor. Oh, okay. Well, so, because he used to be the guy on um, Wings. Wings. Oh, yeah. And I thought that yeah. was it. No, he, he used to be totally boring. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Like every show on NBC. So, yeah. so I thought he was had a nice. I think he's, he's totally different. Oh, yeah. Mom, oh, no, it's, it's so funny. The, the, the whole thing seems to be because he's OCD. Like, he can yeah, he can't work. He can't, he can't work on the uh, oh, horse, right. you know, because he's just too handicapped. But. But you know some of the things that he does, you know, I just I, I right know. Home. About that show. <laughs> Ted, remember the conversation that you and me and James have had about um, if uh, you ever get pulled over by the cops, what do you do? Uh, oh, Lindsay, you could tell some stuff like that. Me and James. That's if I could if I could pull over for speeding with Ted in the car. And if anybody hassles us on the street when we're walking around, what do we do, Ted? Um. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> hey, it got me right on an airplane with two seats together one time. <laughs> How'd you do that? What'd you do? <laughs> well, Jumbo and I were going to England, mm -hmm. and we were flying from Philadelphia to Newark, and then Newark to London. Oh, okay, we're yes. going to meet my sisters there. They're come from Miami. Sure. So we get to Philadelphia, and the, the little shuttle plane is half an hour late, okay, at least a half an hour late. Okay. That's not good. So by the time we get to Newark, and of course, they left us off like here, and the Virgin Air was over here, okay? So we get off the plane, we get our, our luggage, and no, we didn't need our luggage. We had to uh, wait for people. But anyway, we ran all the way from there to there, and me yelling, come on, come on, come on, we're going to miss the plane. We're we get to Virgin, and they said, you know, we're, we're already started boarding. And I said, you know, well, we just got here, and I need, well, you couldn't get your seat assignment before you got on the oh. plane, okay? Mm -hmm. So I said, you know, I need two seats together while they're on, and two, they said, we don't have two seats together mm -hmm. now because it's, you know, they're already yeah. boarding. And I said, so meanwhile, Mr. Gomez is behind me, <laughs> rocking and rolling. <coughs> <laughs> I, said, well, I said, okay, just give me what you have. I got to get on this Jamie, plane. If we're not laughing, you were laughing at the but situation. All of a sudden, somebody comes from out of a door, uh -huh. <laughs> looks up and says, here's two seats together. Uh -huh. <laughs> I said, oh, thank you. Oh, they had oh, a family yeah. member? They, no, no, they had somebody from the Virgin Air must have been watching uh, us from so behind is, the door and came up and did something and got two seats together.
We're laughing with you, not at you. We're laughing at the situation. Yeah, yeah. So we've called it uh, John Paul Rockin' and Rollin' ever since. Rock and roll. The rock and roll. Yeah. For yep. seat on the plane. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I don't think travel's We're laughing with you, not at you. To be. What? I don't think travel's all that cracked up to be. John Paul, we love you so much. Go to sleep much. here and wake up there yeah. and let that be it. And John, Paul, be nice. John Paul, John Paul, John Paul, John Paul. <laughs> Were you guys just affectionate with each other? That's crazy. <laughs> I thought you guys didn't even like each other. Uh, yeah. I know. Water under the bridge, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Whatever. I said. Water. Water, do you know what water under the bridge means? It means it's it's you're thinking about a detail that's gone that's long gone. Yeah. Well, no um, sense thinking about it anymore. It's already the water. 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 What water is that? Water. <laughs> Agua. Oh my God. H O. Bosser. Agua. Agua. Whoosh. <laughs> I remember that TV show. You can't do that on television. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> it used to be on on TV since a long time yeah, ago. Yeah, Why isn't this? Why isn't this, Luigi? Why isn't this? Yeah, yeah. Why isn't this? Why isn't this? Did you see it on TV or did you say, give a DVD? I've seen it on TV. I don't have a DVD of that one. Do you remember what year it was? Uh, it was back in 1981. Oh, okay. yeah. But see, the thing is, better. we take his word for but it, though. I mean, he, well, there's no sense in arguing with him because he's usually right. Mm -hmm. But we're doing, we're getting better because it used to be the, the day, of the week, the month, you know, the date. That's not bad. So I, now would, it's just I would encourage year. that. Oh, absolutely, because yeah. this is a sign of more socialization. Getting looser. Okay. Mm -hmm. When, mm -hmm. when they, they lose that, that savant Rest kind of yeah, stuff mm -hmm. because they become more uh, socialized. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> All right, John, are you ready? Ready. Jimmy, well, thank you for coming. I guess we should have gone for a walk. Jimmy, it's thank awful good to see you. Take care, Ted. All right. Jimmy, I'm, I'm just just doing doing your this. This. All right. Okay. Of course. I, I trust you know the way out. No, you can walk him you down. You have to walk him down, Ted. Mm -hmm. You have to be a polite host. Oh. Wait a second. Put your shirt down, John. Did you see the new car? No, I didn't. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Is it parked out here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, for They're being silly. You want to see my new car, John? Paul? Yeah, wait. Let's see my new car. Teddy calls it a clown car. Because it is. Well, you've pretty much gotten the idea about all this terrorism that's been going on and all this war that's been going on, and the war on terror. And we, we can hope and pray that nuclear war will never happen. But we have to make sure that nuclear war will never happen. I only hope that other nations, Middle East, Russia, England, Canada, and all other nations will war for peace. And a lot of things that happen. And no, I did not see Ben Stiller this week. Could make it. My goodness. And Paris Hilton didn't make it either. And we pretty much get the idea of why we're fighting this war. But we have to use our efforts to war for peace. And we get the idea. Anyway. Anyway, we've, anyway that's all the time we have for today. So we agree 
the hair topic shows is for you. So, see you next time.